Do you know that cancer is the second leading cause of death globally, with an estimated 10 million deaths in 2020 alone? And did you know that obesity and stress, that are very common nowadays, can increase your risk of developing cancer? While most people associate cancer with well-known risk factors like smoking or exposure to radiation, there are many lesser-known causes that may surprise you. Let's learn about 10 surprising causes of cancer that you have probably never heard about. Let's begin! Number 1. Lack of sleep It may come as a surprise to many that lack of sleep can have a significant impact on our overall health, including a high risk of developing cancer. Studies have found that people who don't get enough sleep consistently may have an increased risk of developing breast cancer, prostate cancer, and colorectal cancer. Sleep plays a crucial role in our body's ability to repair and regenerate damaged cells, and a lack of sleep can disrupt this process. Therefore, it is essential to prioritize getting enough sleep as part of our overall health and wellness routine. In addition to the increased risk of some cancers, lack of sleep has also been linked to several other health issues, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, and weakened immune system. Chronic sleep deprivation can also cause mood swings, irritability, and decreased cognitive function, making it more challenging to concentrate and perform daily tasks. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Sedentary Lifestyle It's no secret that leading a sedentary lifestyle can have negative effects on our health. But what many people probably don't know is that it can also increase our risk of developing cancer. A lack of physical activity can lead to weight gain, which is a significant risk factor for many types of cancer, such as breast cancer, colon cancer, and kidney cancer. When we're inactive, our bodies store excess calories as fat, which not only contributes to weight gain, but can also cause chronic inflammation and insulin resistance, both of which can contribute to the development of cancer. Therefore, it's crucial to incorporate physical activity into our daily routine, even if it's just a brisk walk or some light stretching. By doing so, we can help reduce our risk of developing cancer and improve our overall health. Number 3. Alcohol Alcohol consumption is a common activity for many individuals, but it's important to recognize that it can have harmful effects on our health, including a higher risk of developing cancer. Heavy alcohol consumption is a well-known risk factor for liver cancer, but it's also important to note that it can also increase the risk of other types of cancer, such as breast cancer and colorectal cancer. Even in some cases, moderate alcohol consumption has been linked to a higher risk of breast cancer in women, as compared to those who don't drink at all. Most likely this is because alcohol can imbalance the levels of estrogen and other hormones in women that are known to play a key role in the development of breast cancer. Additionally, Excessive alcohol consumption can also damage the DNA and impair the body's ability to repair damaged cells, which can contribute to the development of cancer. It's important to be mindful of our alcohol consumption and limit it to moderate levels, which is defined as no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. Number 4. Processed Meat Processed meats, including bacon, sausage, and deli meats have been classified as Group 1 carcinogens by the World Health Organization, which means that they are known to cause cancer in humans. These types of meats are usually high in sodium, fat, and especially nitrates, which are used as preservatives and can be very harmful to our health. Consuming these types of meats regularly has been linked to an increased risk of developing colorectal cancer. This risk increases with the amount of processed meat consumed and even eating small amounts of these meats can be harmful. Therefore, it's important to limit the consumption of processed meats and opt for healthier protein sources such as fish, poultry, nuts, and legumes. Additionally, incorporating more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into our diet can help reduce our risk of developing cancer and other chronic diseases. Number 5. Air Pollution Air pollution is becoming a significant public health concern and exposure to polluted air can have harmful effects on our health, including an increased risk of cancer. Polluted air can contain harmful chemicals and toxins, such as benzene, 
polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heavy metals, which can damage our DNA and increase the risk of tumor development. These harmful substances are usually present in various sources of pollution, such as traffic, industrial emissions, and burning fossil fuels. Moreover, constant and overexposure to polluted air can increase the risk of developing lung cancer, bladder cancer, and other types of cancer. Therefore, it's important to take steps to reduce exposure to polluted air, such as wearing a mask, avoiding high traffic areas, using air filters at home, and supporting policies that promote clean air. Number 6. Certain Medications This may turn out to be another surprising cause of cancer you may have never heard about. While medications can be beneficial for treating various health conditions, some medications have been linked to an increased risk of developing cancer. For example, certain types of hormone replacement therapy used to alleviate menopausal symptoms have been associated with a higher risk of getting breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Similarly, some chemotherapy drugs used to treat cancer can also increase the risk of developing other types of cancer later in life. It's essential to speak with your doctor about the potential risks associated with any medication you are taking and to discuss any concerns you may have. In some cases, alternative medications or treatments may be available that can reduce the risk of cancer. Additionally, it's important to follow the recommended dosage and duration of medication use as prescribed by your doctor. By being proactive and informed about the potential risks associated with medication use, we can take steps to reduce our risk of developing cancer and promote better health outcomes. Number 7. Obesity Being overweight or obese is a risk factor for developing many chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease and many types of cancer. Excess body fat can increase the production of certain hormones such as estrogen, insulin, and insulin-like growth factor 1, which can promote the growth of tumor cells in the body. Additionally, excess body fat can cause chronic inflammation in the body, which can contribute to the development of cancer. Obese individuals are at an increased risk of developing several types of cancer, including breast cancer, colon cancer, and prostate cancer. Therefore, maintaining a healthy weight through regular exercise and a healthy diet can help reduce the risk of developing cancer and improve overall health. Number 8. Radiation Exposure to radiation is a well-known risk factor for developing cancer. Radiation can damage DNA and other genetic material in cells, leading to mutations that can promote the growth of cancer cells. Some medical imaging procedures, such as X-rays and CT scans, use ionizing radiation, which can increase the risk of cancer, particularly in individuals who receive frequent or high doses of radiation. But that doesn't mean that you should stop getting an X-ray or a CT scan, even if that's crucial to the diagnosis of your health condition. Usually, the radiation levels of these scans are relatively lower, and getting yourself diagnosed is often much more important than potential risks associated with them. Eventually, you can always discuss your concerns with your doctor. Additionally, exposure to environmental sources of radiation such as radome gas, a naturally occurring radioactive gas that can seep into buildings, can increase the risk of lung cancer. Surprisingly, it has been found to be the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S. after smoking. However, the danger of getting affected from radon gas radiation is much higher in smokers than in non-smokers. It's important to be aware of the potential risks associated with radiation exposure and to speak with your doctor about any concerns you may have. In some cases, alternative imaging procedures or radiation-reducing techniques may be available that can lower the risk of cancer. Number 9. Infections Certain infections, such as human papillomavirus and hepatitis B and C, can increase your risk of developing certain types of cancer, such as cervical cancer, liver cancer, and stomach cancer. So be sure to watch out for their symptoms too. Number 10. Stress Chronic stress can also increase your risk of developing cancer. Stress can weaken your immune system and lead to chronic inflammation, and both of these factors can actively contribute to the development of cancer. So try to avoid taking too much stress as much as possible. By doing so, we can help reduce our risk of developing cancer and other chronic diseases. 
Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.